shooting range DPS. Excellent. That's what can I get? What can I get? 5.6. What does that even mean? I've got some explaining to do. Grab your calculators. It's time to do some science. Shooting range DPS. What does it all mean? Well, if you haven't seen my last video, I suggest that you go back and watch it because in that one we worked out how to calculate damage numbers. In that one I focused on armor out of cover and we did the calculations to work out what each of those damage numbers was going to be. Did some testing, confirmed it. Because we're in the shooting range, it's going to be a mix of armor and health. So we need to do the calculations to work out what damage to health is going to be. So it's the same process, base times our weapon damage. We don't have any total weapon damage because it's our test build. We're now doing damage to health instead of armor, so it's 1.21. And now the rest of the calculation is exactly the same. It's just that impact damage that changed from being armor to damage to health. So as we multiply it all out, we've got 154.585 to an on-crit body armor hit. And then we've got crit, a crit headshot, and then a headshot non-crit. So if we take a quick trip to the firing range, just to confirm those numbers. 369, 485, 706, and 27524. So we've got our confirmation. We know that those numbers are correct. So there are our armor out of cover numbers, and there is our health out of cover numbers. Next thing is to work out how often are these actually going to occur when we're shooting the target. Enemy total health. So a red bar, its health is 100% obviously, there's no armor, so it's 2.827038. And every enemy below that has exactly the same amount of health, but their total health pool changes. So as we go down the list, the health pool makes up a smaller percentage of the total health. 100% for a red, 44% for a veteran, 28% for an elite, and 14% for a named elite. Today, in the interest of science, we are just going to use the elite, 28.8% health. 9.8 million total health points. Uh, in addition, we have, in the interest of science and removing as many variables as possible, we are going to only shoot at the body. So we really only have four numbers that we need to concern ourselves with. And how often are they going to occur? Crit chance currently sits at 58.2%. We are using the elite, so it's 28.8% health. So for an armor crit on the body, it's 58.2% of the time is going to be a crit. And we're going to hit the armor 71.2% of the time that we're actually killing that enemy from full health all the way down to zero health. Health crit, same crit percentage, just on health. The armor body crit, or non-crit I should say, is the inverse, or 100% minus our crit chance to give us our non-crit chance on armor. And then, of course, we have <clears throat> our health non-crit. So if you have a look down the right hand side, all of those percentages will add up to 100% of the time and each one of those individually makes up that percentage of it. Now if we can say 100% of the time we are going to be doing these four numbers and those are percentages attached to each one of those numbers, then we can say the equivalent of each and every bullet is being done. So we have 29.8% of our armor out of color damage into each bullet same same body non crit so each one of those are damages multiplied by its percentage occurrence is the equivalent of what occurs in every single bullet total them all together and we get our average bullet damage so every single bullet on average will be doing this amount of damage now our dps calculation is just that average bullet damage times our bullets per second bullets per second is rounds per minute divided by 60. For our for mass, it is 900 rounds per minute divided by 60, which equals 15 bullets per second, times as our average bullet damage, gives us a DPS of 3.876 million. Damage per second. 
Let's go to the firing range. Handy dandy test build. Here we go. Let's change it to elite. Five meters. And that's the number we're looking for. And here we go. Oh god, that's too high. Oh man. Oh. Remember, it's an average. We need to keep going. What's actually going on? Bullets per second. What you have here is a visual representation of 15 bullets striking in a single second. Each block made up of a bullet being fired and then hit, fired, hit, hit, so on and so forth. 15 hits in the second. What the firing range does, however, is it only starts calculating from the very first hit. That's when the second starts. So what we're actually seeing is a loss of that first bullet cycle, as it were. Or more importantly, we're actually seeing the addition of another bullet in that first second. The magic bullet out of nowhere. So our DPS, 3.876 million, is actually to include another average bullet. But having said that, the timer continues until the damage is finished. And in this case, it is the target goes down. For this particular build, the total health of an elite being 9.894 divided by our average bullet damage means we are going to, on average, use 38 bullets to kill it and 38 bullets divided by 15 bullets per second equals 2.5 seconds or 2.53 so that average bullet is then stretched out or the extra magic it brings to our DPS is spread out to be 102,000 so now we get over the total time it took us to kill or the average time it's going to take us to kill an elite a new DPS value and here we go as we continue to shoot, continue to do more and more, and average becomes more realized. And what you see here is a number that is very, very close to the number that we calculated. Now, believe it or not, there are actually other factors that are going on in regards to that number, but for our build, or the test build, and with ARs, it doesn't have that much of an impact but it will be a concern when we do some other testing later on down the track and those things are for talent activation but um, especially when you get a higher base damage especially when you come to shotguns and i think the most important thing to take away from this in the dps or shooting range dps is that the higher that your damage is or higher the dps your build is the more that magic bullet actually will add or over inflate what your build's DPS is because not only will that bullet provide a larger number but also you're killing that enemy quicker which means that that bullet's damage is spread over a smaller period of time over inflating that damage. So that's shooting range DPS and what that number actually means or what it actually reflects. Moving forward, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on burst DPS and sustained DPS, what the differences between those two are, and hopefully as a community we can decide whether or not those two factors or those two uh, equations are in fact a realistic representation of what actually occurs in game. Should be interesting. Should be uh, good fun if that's what you're into which i am so uh enjoy the um gameplay in the background which is me uh, again um, 
stuffing around with the uh, the test build. Uh, it's for another video that I'm doing, it's some test footage, but enjoy it. And uh, as always, uh, like, subscribe, comment, drop a comment in the bottom if you think that for uh, weapon comparisons that the magic bullet should actually count towards DPS. Interested in your opinions? And um, share this around, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Checking for the key card.